Hello out there everybody. Uh, here I am once again for day four of 30 westerns in 30 days. Um, the western I watched tonight uh, is a little different uh, as far as westerns go and it's a newer western. Um, it was a made for HBO movie uh, called The Jack Bull. I'll show you the cover there. There real quick. Uh, I saw this movie whenever I was younger and uh, just kind of fell in love with it. I've always liked it. The story's really, really good. Um, it was made in, I guess, around the mid-90s, mid to late 90s. I don't think it has uh, the date on the back here, but uh, it stars uh, John Cusack as your main character. His name's Merle Redding. Uh, a few of the other stars, uh, uh, L.Q. Jones is uh, kind of an old school uh, Western actor. He's done a lot of different things, but uh, he's, he's been in some different stuff. If you see the movie, you'll recognize him. Uh, and it's the movie of John's. It has uh, also John C. McGinley, John Savage, and uh, John Goodman in it as well. And it's one of my favorite movie roles for John Goodman. You know, every, everybody knows him <coughs> Excuse me, from uh, as Dan Connor from Roseanne, which I'm a big fan of. But I've always been a big fan of him as an actor as well. And uh, he's got a small part in this film, but it's a powerful part, and it's a re really good uh, performance by John Goodman. And the story is uh, basically the story of Merle Redding. He's a, uh, he's a horse trader. He's not a rich man by any means, but isn't really trying to be. He's just, you know, trying to live his life and, you know, live his trade and everything. And uh, it's, it's in the middle of... The, it takes place in the territory of Wyoming and at the point when uh, the territory was trying to become a state and get its statehood. So there were a lot of powerful ranchers uh, out trying to stop the statehood from happening because once statehood hit, they would no longer be able to just claim land as their own. You know, it's not a territory anymore. They can't just go out and say, this is mine and this is mine and, and you know, you have to stay off it. You know, it, it comes to a point to where you know they have to buy land from the state <clears throat> and uh, there's another there's a guy that uh, he's like the big guy around this little town that uh, Merle lives near uh, that you know owns all this land and is buying up all these people's ranches and buying up all their land from them and, and just taking everything over and whenever uh, Merle is trying to take his horses to another town to sell uh, this man stops him and tells him he has to pay ten dollars to cross his land and uh, he's got a fence up and a toll booth and everything and uh, you know Merle tells him I don't have ten dollars all the money I have on me is to pay for lodging and, and food and everything whenever I get to the town he's like I can pay you on the way back once I sell my horses and he doesn't want to let him so he uh, tells him that if he leaves his two best stallions there that he'll let him pass and he can pay him and then pick him up on the way back. So against his better judgment, Merle leaves the two stallions. <clears throat> and uh, when he gets back, uh, the horses have been worked and beaten and are in really bad shape and in really bad condition. And this sets Merle off. And uh, he demands that the horses be, you know, brought back to shape and the man, uh, he, he refuses. And uh, so he goes on a hell-bent journey to get his horses back in the shape that, you know, he originally left them in. And it, it turns into pretty much, there, there's a tragic event that takes place towards the beginning of the film. And I don't want to let anything go in this movie. I don't want to tell you anything more than that because uh, the movie has some, some really good set pieces and some really good moments that I don't want to ruin for you if you try if you want to try to see this movie. But uh, as far as it goes, it's kind of a, a man on a mission slash revenge movie. Uh, he, he really, uh, the Merle Redding character played by John Cusack, he really is just on this mission to get this done. And uh, it's just an excellent movie to me. It's a real good real good character driven story and uh, you know it it really clicks home with me I've watched it many many times probably 
15, 20 times. It's uh, one of my favorite westerns. And uh, like I said, it's it's pretty unique as far as westerns go. But uh, I guess that's pretty much all I have to say about it. Uh, I, I'd say I give it about four stars out of five. And uh, if, if you're a John Cusack fan at all and you haven't seen this movie, you really need to check it out, whether you're a fan of westerns or not. He's excellent in this movie. I, I'm not a huge fan of John Cusack. I have nothing against him. I'm just not, you know, a big, big fan. I don't go out and see all of his movies just because he's in them or anything like that. But uh, as far as it goes, it's my favorite performance he's given to date. And uh, I highly recommend it. So uh, keep your eyes open. Day 5 will be coming. I'm not sure what I'm going to watch yet, but... As soon as I do, I will get you a review up and you will know about it. So, thanks guys.